All right, Halos, welcome back. How's everyone doing? Uh, we are once again back in Skyrim. We are going to be doing a quick um, side thing while we're on our way to finding the Elder Scroll. Um, it's called A Return to Your Roots. It's a unique quest down here in Blackreach that we have just entered in the previous part. Um, so we're going to be collecting all the 30 Crimson Nerd Root in here, and I'm honestly thinking of just going ahead while we're down here so we don't have to come back super soon, though we may in the future. Um, just go ahead and finish up everything and explore all the places down here. It's not super big, but it is quite large of an area. Um, so it'll take a little bit of time, probably a, a couple parts at least, um, unless I'm super quick. But yeah, I kind of want to clear out everyone down here and also... Uh, just find everything that, that you can down here pretty much so I think that's gonna be one of the main things um, it doesn't give us quest markers for these but I can uh, I'll find enough of them uh, there's an arcane enchanter here I think I'm gonna go ahead and use that a little bit um, if I have anything I can disenchant uh, I don't want to do these ones but I want to do the leather boots of hauling because those are a little bit worse and it still gives the, me the same enchantment um, some of this stuff I kind of would want to keep for now. Fire resistance I can go ahead and get rid of and level up our enchanting a little bit that way. Scale braces of ancient imminent archery is not bad, honestly. I can't remember what we have on. Um, but yeah, circlet of minor alchemy. I think I'm going to keep just for now so I can sell stuff, but I'm going to disenchant it in the future for sure. Lock picking, smithing I want to keep for now, but in the future I'll do better. I'll do more, I mean. Uh, this one I'll keep for now, but we can definitely get rid of it pretty soon. Alright, yeah, that should be mostly it. Do we have any soul gems? We do, okay. Alright, well, I'll do a couple actually then. Um, let's go ahead and select the soul gem and the item first. Um, it's going to use some of these. Oh, wait, what? Oh, because it's still selected, okay. Uh, yeah, I want to do the most expensive stuff, and also the circlets are the heaviest of weight, so I can get rid of them first. And then the um, necklaces are next, and then the rings, so I'll probably do the, the circlets first. This is, this is 350, let's get this one first, So because it, ha it has more. And then let's see what it'll do, what the highest value one is over here. So 399, 401, instructions, leader so far. Alright, looks like that. It's not too much more, but it's still a little bit more. Yeah, so we'll go ahead and craft that and level up our enchanting a little bit. I'll also use some of these lesser ones. Go ahead and do that, and then it's going to be the same thing for both of these. And then for necklaces uh, and rings, the enchantments are a little bit different. So 380, 830, let's get that one first. Uh, okay, carry weight is a pretty good one actually. 988, so carry weight is the best so far. Still the best. Sneak is pretty high. Okay, 11.15. Yeah, there we go. Alright, Sneak is going to be the one we're going to do. Go ahead and do that. I think it actually gives you more if you do a higher one. Yeah, it is worth more if you do one of these, but not really worried about it. I might do the common over the lesser, though. Actually, not a wor not a bad idea. Because I don't really use these for, for, um, for enchanting. Other than, like, recharging. So I think I will do one of these, actually. Yeah, let's go ahead and do it. All right, uh, use another common. Plus, we have a lot of them anyway, so you know. Let's do the other necklaces. And I think that's all the necklaces, right? Yeah, it should be. Silver amethyst, silver ruby is the highest. Okay, let's see what we can get here. So 757, 2292 for the silver ruby ring, for the sneak. I mean, I think that's going to be the highest that we get. Yeah, it is. Okay. Of the ones we've learned so far, at least. Uh, let's go ahead and do that, then. And then I'll do these as well. And we'll do this one. I'm not worried about these silver ones, because they're super cheap. But we can use these silver ones for our actually custom ones that we're actually going to use in the future if we want. Uh, let's go ahead and har activate and harvest the stern root. <laughs> uh, use the alchemy lab. Not a bad idea. Could go ahead and do a little bit of it if we wanted to. What do you think, Lydia? I think we should wait. Okay, yeah, good idea. Alright, let's go out into Blackreach and start discovering some more stuff. 
All right, we already uh, activated that. I think I'll follow the left wall and go around that direction. Um, but yeah, it's, it's quite a large area, so it'll take some time for sure, but we'll, we'll get it. I'll try to hurry through it as much as I can, but this is a really cool place. Should definitely like look around and kind of just enjoy it, you know? I got another one down here. Three of three. Oh, hello. Chorus Hunter fledgling. Oh, me. Okay. Yeah, this guy's like dodging everywhere. Oh my gosh, I'm about to die. Not even not even joking. Please tell me I killed him. Okay, good. <laughs> Holy cow. Ouch. The guy was not much of a fledgling, he was more like a freaking badass. Alright, uh, ooh, we have not actually eaten that ingredient yet, so let's go ahead and do that. Any ingredients that we have not eaten, go ahead and grab, except for the Crimson Iron Root, of course. And the Daedra Hearts. I'll keep the Cyrodiilic, um, Spade Tail as well, and the Fire Salts for now. Uh, and the Frost Salts, just because I think there might be a... Oops, I didn't mean to do that. I think there might be a quest for those. If not, no big deal. We can always get it later. Small Pearl we can eat, Restore Stamina, okay. Alright, I think that's it. Did we already search him? Yeah, we did, okay. Alright, let's continue on. Uh, I think that was it for down there, right? What is that? Oh. Interesting, you can break those open. That one didn't have a guy in it, though, so... It's probably a good thing. Uh, okay. Let's check if there's anything over here. I don't think there is, but hey. Couldn't hurt, right? You know what? Uh, I'm actually gonna favorite this for now and use it as a quick quick uh, thing. There we go. Hotkey? That's the word. Yep. Use it as a hotkey. Anything back here? Doesn't seem to be. Alright. Uh, activate button. That didn't seem to do it. Oh, there we go. Took a while. I'm hearing one. Where is it? Oh, this one. I don't know if that's the one it was that was like calling out to me, but does there sound like there's one over here? I don't know. Uh, let's go ahead and open whatever this is so we can unlock it from the base level, from ground level. Great lifted off tan discovered. Nice. Now we have a little bit of a, another place we can always get back to. <laughs> she put on the helmet. Yeah, I gave her a bunch of stuff in the previous part so that she can carry um, because I don't have all that carry weight. So yeah, she's she's got quite a, an assortment of stuff there. At least it'll help protect her. Um, okay. Oh, okay. Let's see if we can get some sneak attacks on these guys so that we can take them out early. We got him that time. Okay, is he coming up? Yep, he sure is. Alright, let's get a good clean shot on him. That one missed by a lot. Whoops. There we go, nice. Little sneak attack in the butt. Or, or the back, whatever. Close enough. Alright, cool. Uh, that helps get those guys out of the way early so we don't have to deal with them a little bit later. Uh, let's check this place down here to the left real fast. Is there anything right here, though? No, okay. Wait, I was checking hearing, just in case. Not sure why this is green, or whatever color that is. Why it's lit up, but hey. No more you know. Um, what's anything in here? Yeah, nice. Chest, okay. A lot of Stendar. Yeah, that's the one I wanted to give to her, actually. Hey, Lydia, where you at? <laughs> 
let me give you not only that weapon that I just picked up. Where is it? It's battle axe. There we go. But also this uh, amulet of Stindar, which will help you block with your shield. I've got your back. Need you to do All something. Right. What is it? Go ahead and pick up these. Where was that? There it is. And the oven battle axe. Okay, got it. Nice, Anything thank you. Else? Nope, that's it for now. Probably more in the future, though. Uh, let's see, what else do we have over here? If there's any ore, I will definitely take it. Like this right here. Corendum, sure. Always useful. And sometimes you get gems, um, like valuable gems in between, like flawless amethysts and such. Especially if we get the flawless ones that are those are super good because they are worth a lot of money when you um, when you make an item out of them. The flawless ones are worth a lot, so we can use it to not only upgrade our smithing level, but uh, once we sell it, we can also upgrade our speech. There's another of the crimson nern root. Let's continue to check. Oh, looks like something over here. Crimson nern root. Is there anything in here? No. Dead end, dead end. Oh, there might be a guy. Let's see. Oh, yep, there is. Well, let's pull up our, uh, our light armor and such a little bit. We'll take his stuff as well, sure. Uh, okay, let's continue on. Okay, yeah, so these are the things I was talking about, actually. There's these things called geodes here. And when you mine them, you get soul gems, I think, from them. Or maybe it's just uh, gems, like special gems, valuable gems. Yeah, it is soul gems. Okay, that's what I thought. I mean, you can get both for sure, but yeah, always useful. Both of which are very useful for certain. All right, I'm gonna quickly circle back a little bit over this direction. Make sure I didn't miss anything up here, kind of. I guess we gotta go this way anyway, but yeah. get it. Might be able to actually get up there. I mean, there's another way to get up there, but I kind of want to see if I can get up there from doing this. Nah, okay. Alright, that's fine. Let me go ahead and grab it real quick, and then we'll come back to uh, to the rest of the area that I'm going for. Alright, come on. We can do this. Give me a quick save in case I accidentally fall. There we go. Nice. Perfect. Anything up here, by the way? While we're up here, it'll seem to be a cool little place though. Uh, <laughs> Alright, let's go back down and then check out this little area that we've kind of skipped over a bit accidentally. Ooh, there's a centurion down there. Oh, it's a Falmer way over there. Okay, uh, anything over here? There's the two guys that I uh, was able to snipe earlier that were in this little area. I think that was all of the, the enemies in this area, so there shouldn't really be any enemies up here now. Where did that guy go? You know, I might have shot him off the edge, actually. Ebony Shield of Dwindling Frost, that's super nice. We can definitely disenchant it, but it's also just a really good item. Ebony... Ebony Shield. Might I might use that, we'll see. Yeah, there's this guy down here. Um, yeah, I think I knocked him off the edge, didn't I? With my shot. Yeah, there he is. He's right down there. You know what? I'm gonna just go ahead and just leave yeah. down here. I don't care. Harvest Namir's raw. Yes, please. Take... I don't really care about the bows. We already have plenty of them anyway. Um, yeah, I think we're good. Let's go ahead and check out the Centurion, though. Is he gonna activate while I'm mining this, or can I mine this first in peace? Looks like I can mine it in peace. That's good. That's what I was hoping for. <clears throat> All right. Cool. Oh, is there another main vein right there? Yeah, there is. Sweet. One more, or er, three more, I think. Go ahead and do the muffles first, so that my magic average can regenerate while I'm fighting him. Be a little 
little bit of fish in that way. All right. Oh, he's a master. Okay. We gotta be a bit careful. He's gonna do a lot of damage then. Almost get him before he even gets over here, actually. Nice. So, I mean, if he does his uh, like uh, steam attack, we don't really get any level up from taking the brunt of that. So. I don't really want that him to do that, and that's usually one of his first attacks. But he hits, hits up with us with his hand type of thingy. Oh, I hear something. Here it is. Um, but yeah, if he hits up with his hand, then our armor actually levels up a little bit. So that's usually what we want him to do. Let me check. Uh, I kind of want to check down there real fast. Is it a whole thing if I check down here? Eh, not really. There might be a though. I feel like there's going to be a chorus. Dude. Hello? Anybody home? No? no? Okay. Well, let me mine this real fast then. Quick silver ore. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> mine. Get it? No. Anyways. Um. <laughs> By the way, if you play uh, Genshin Impact, don't forget to get your daily check in rewards online. You don't even have to open the game or anything, you just grab them. Alright. Let's go back to the section that we were doing over there. We were kind of hugging the left side of the area. So let's continue down that path. Kind of worried if I shout in here I'm going to attract every enemy in the, in the entire area. Also trying to listen for the... Um, the sound of the crimson desert. Okay. Let's see what else we got around on this left side. Oh, hello. Don't mind if I do. Geode man. Oh, let's go. Level up. That's what I like to see. Alright, let's say we got it maybe roughly one fourth of this area discovered. Already, already. Roughly, roughly. Um, some stuff right there. Let me check over here real fast. What is that? Is this anything? No, it's not. Okay. <laughs> I was like, it doesn't seem like it is, but maybe? Any more Crimson Nerd right here? Uh, none of here. That's the area I was at before. I don't think there's anything back here. Yeah, there isn't, but there's kind of a cool little hiding place, I guess. <laughs> Alright. Um, already got all the stuff over there, so let's continue on this way. See if we can find anyone or anything. Oh yeah, war quarters. Let's check inside here. Oh, speaking of which, er, not speaking of which, but yeah, there's that level up we haven't used yet, so let's go ahead and do that real fast. Archery needs 60 for that. Chance of a critical hit, that's honestly not a bad perk at all to get. We might do that. How's Sneak doing? I want this one, but that's going to be quite a bit still that we need to get in terms of sneaking, so we'll skip it for now. Uh, Pickpocket, lockpicking. Is there anything good in here? I can't forget. I keep forgetting. Okay. This is nice. It does require 60, though, which we aren't there yet. Uh, this is also super nice. Big start close to the last. That's pretty nice. Locks never break. <laughs> That's also really nice. Uh, it requires 100, but yeah. Okay. I mean, honestly, not a bad place to put some perk points into, but I'm not worried about it or anything. Speech is nice. Oh yeah, that's one of the things we're doing. I was going to get um, all of this stuff. I think I might do that one actually. Hold on, let me double check. There's nothing else that I want to put anything into for a second. Um, stuff needs 60 before I can cast that. Restoration Apprentice and uh, Adept would not be bad. What is my fast healing at, by the way? What is that? Apprentice? or It is Apprentice. Okay. Well, in that case, let's go ahead and put it into that one. Uh, we'll do some of the speech a little bit later. But let's do it apprentice so that that costs a lot cheaper. So that costs, so this one costs 5 for 15 and this costs 29 for 75. So uh, let's see, 
15, how many times does 15 go into 75? Let me do some quick math. 15, 30, 45, 60, 75. So five times. Five times five is, is uh, 25. So it heals faster, but it costs four more than it would if I use this. So not not the best, but hey, it's something. Still, I'm going to favorite it, and uh, I'll try to use that a little bit more. We'll put... Hmm, let's put it as three, sure. And then we'll put this as like six, and this can be seven for now. That seems that seems fair. All right, I don't know if there's any enemies in here, but I'm gonna play a little bit safe just in case. A little bit safe. Um, anything we can loot? The war quarters. That's it. Well, that's where I said we were in. Uh, I don't see anyone. Famous last words. Oh, speaking of which, actually, let's go ahead and, and rest again, just get that rested bonus again, just in case. I think we already have it, but you can refresh it, it's fine. Also refreshes our magic eye. Yeah, I don't think there's anyone in here. Is there any loot in here, though? That's another question. Alright, we'll check in there. Another bed. Yeah, just some quarters, I guess, like it says, war quarters. Uh, something of flames I accidentally picked up too quick. Orcish greatsword, I think. Another chest over here. Got a flawless, flawless sapphire. Nice. That's actually really useful. Okay, cool. Nothing super crazy, but definitely a little bit of loot. I will definitely take it. What else do we have? That was that little area. Is there anything up here? Let's see. Bit of like light tower or something. Kind of cool, but not really anything that we need. Okay, let's continue on. Wonder if this can, there's probably not, but I wonder if there's like an Easter. Oh, oh, that's no, just the ambient music. Or sounds. Uh, this just does a little choppy chop thing if I pull the lever, so I don't really need that. Ooh, okay, 2920 mid year volume six. Let's go ahead and have you guys pause to read this real fast and I'll read it later. Let's get rid of the little over text. Okay, there it is. I'll definitely have to read it in the future. Uh, we'll definitely check all this stuff. There's definitely some nerd root down there I remember from previous playthroughs. Um, we already checked this place, right? Yeah, those war quarters. So I think we're mostly done with this side. Um, there's not a way to go down. There's there. Oh, there is. Okay, cool. Well, let's go ahead and check it out then. This isn't anything I can grab. What's up here, by the way? Oh. Okay. There we go, keep him stunned. Nice. Good job, Lydia. I could have finished him off, but I'll take the help. Good. Oh, anything else up here? Neuron root, yes please. And I guess that's it, right? Okay, I thought there was a little location up here, but it must be in there. That's fine. Let's head all the way down to the bottom of these waterfalls. There's a geode here, and I see a little crimson neuron root right there down, right down there as well. Yeah, I kind of want to also do like separate playthroughs. Like I said, I'm going to be doing 100% on this playthrough. Um, max every perk out and uh, not perk, but little tree, perk tree, I guess. Uh, max every perk tree out and do all that different types of stuff. Is there anything back behind this? No, okay. But uh, 
I was wondering if you guys are interested in me doing like just two-handed playthrough or like just one-handed or anything like that um, let me know or like just mage I think that would be pretty interesting at least like the two-handed one it's something I've never really done um, or also dual wielding I think that would be a pretty cool pretty cool idea that I really haven't done almost any of um, but there are some perks for it so it's, it's definitely an option oh I didn't finish casting that one my bad Got a skull down here. That's always nice. Uh, a little bit of a thing here. Is there anything behind? I hear something, but I think it's up there. Shoot, we're gonna have to go back and grab that then, because I don't want to have to go back for like backtracking a whole lot. Hold on. Here he is. Yep. All right, nice. All right. It doesn't seem like there's anything down below here. Like a geo, possibly. Yep. Illusion increased to 71. Alright, we're getting pretty good progress on that. We're almost three quarters of the way done with that perk. And then once you get those to. I forget if it's 90 or if it's 100. I think it's 90. Maybe it's 100, though. It might actually be 100, but yeah. Once we get to 100, you can actually get the special quests from the College of Winterhold and stuff as well, so that's always cool. Um, is there anything else? Oh, hello. Tripod spiderfish. Is that food? Yeah, it is. Okay. Interesting. What's this guy? Another one? Okay. I don't want to pick up too many of them, but I kind of want to check them out. Anything over in this little corner? I, I'll skip it if there isn't. Yeah, it didn't seem to be. Okay. Uh, I will go inside there, but let me double check everything down here first. Make sure I don't miss anything, and then we'll we'll do good. We'll finish it up. I mean, yeah. There's one over here. We'll get this real fast, and I'm also gonna quickly do a little bit more of the illusion muffle. Anything over here? Nope. But yeah, that's one way to get back up, actually, so we'll, we'll finish that in a little bit. Just make sure I'm not missing anything. Doesn't seem like there's anything here. Didn't mean to go third person, but hey, I don't have any problem with it. Alright, I'm not seeing anything over here. There's a Crimson Nerd right here that I missed, though. we will go ahead and grab that real quick. Stuff's real blue. Alright, that's 13 of 30, so we're getting there. But yeah, let's go inside the uh, little dwarven place here, though. Alright. Derelict Pump House. Let's see, what do we got? I can hear it in our roots. Oh, hello. There's an enemy, apparently. One nice thing about being a uh, nice. One nice thing about being a Argonian is that you can be underwater forever. <laughs> Sounds like she's doing quite the fight up there. Solid dwarven metal. That's pretty heavy metal. Okay. I think she finished him off. Either that or she got wrecked. Nope, she finished him off. Nice. Okay, and then this is the side that you can go in without jumping over the edge. I'll take that stuff because it's free, and then make sure there's nothing in here that I don't don't want. I think there's like there's a way to open this, right? Can't remember actually. I feel like there is a way to open this, but I'm not... Oh, you know what? It might be right there. Yeah, it is right there. <laughs> I just forgot it from the other side. Not that I really need to open it, but I'm going to do it just because completionist. You know the drill. There it is. I'll open that up and then you can get out. Unless you want to climb up that little pipe that I did. Alright, let's head back up. Alright, well, uh, I just realized how long this recording has already, has already been, so I'm going to go ahead and pause it here. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, I really appreciate it. We'll take out some of these other guys and continue the exploration of Blackreach in the next one. Alright, peace.